Roe was a power grab. The reason that they are giving up this power is because Roe actually seized that power and said, only we get to decide when you're allowed to restrict abortion. And when that happened, it was seven men, not Amy Coney Barrett, not Justice Clarence Thomas, who's black. It was seven white guys that said, no, no, we're going to make Roe the law of the land and every state has to offer abortion up until this point. Hey, fellow tacticians, be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell that supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. So another one, uh, I've heard this one so many times. In fact, Elizabeth Warren said something very similar that these six unelected men, um, of course, there's one woman in there, Amy Coney Barrett. So five unelected men overturning precedent and pushing their beliefs on the rest of us. That's fascism. Okay, well, first of all, this decision specifically gave up power. It didn't consolidate it. So what actually happened is the federal government had this power that it shouldn't have had. It had the power over the states to tell them, no, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to restrict abortion at this point. You're not allowed. And so what they did was they decided that the best course of action was to give that power back to the states. That the states actually got to make their own decision on this. So regardless of how you view it or how you view abortion, this is not a consolidation of federal power. It's actually a relinquishing of federal power. Now, you may not like that and you may not like the result, but there's no way to make the argument that this is fascism because this is people actually abdicating their power and giving it to someone else. You know, that would uh, be like trying to claim that I was hoarding a bunch of money by giving money to people. It doesn't make any sense. He's like, well, you're just hoarding all the money. It's like, no, I literally just gave all of it away. <laughs> there's no way to logically make the point that this is fascism because it's actually people at the federal level, the Supreme Court justice is saying, no, we don't want this power. We think that you guys should have this power. And so that's actually what's going on here. Um, and Justice Thomas actually made that point. But beyond that, Roe was a power grab. The reason that they are giving up this power is because Roe actually seized that power and said, only we get to decide when you're allowed to restrict abortion. And when that happened, it was seven men, not Amy Coney Barrett, not Justice Clarence Thomas, who's black. It was seven white guys that said, no, no, we're going to make Roe the law of the land and every state has to offer abortion up until this point. That's what Roe did. And so because of that, you have to uh, make the point here, if someone does bring this up, that actually what this is, is the court abdicating power away from themselves. You know, I've heard so many times somebody try to say that this is the end of democracy. The democracy is ending. We're, we're ending authoritarian fascism. Well, now, hold on a second. What this decision means is you get to vote. I get to vote on who my state elected officials are, and then they can vote in turn as my representative to have abortion or not have abortion. That's true of every single state in the union. The Senate, too, with the exception of, I think, Virginia, which is the only non-bicameral house, like they're a unicameral house. Uh, but every other one, I have multiple representatives that I get to vote on, that I get to elect, that get to affect policy on this issue. And so actually, the power has been returned to the people. It's not being taken away from them. So if they make that one, that's a very easy one to debunk as well. <laughs> If you're watching this because you liked this video, awesome. Be sure to like and subscribe and click that little notification bell. If you're a leftist that's only here to hate watch, hang on before you punch that dislike button. You see, I identify as a Hispanic woman. So if you dislike this video, that's literally violence against me and you are now guilty of a hate crime. Why do you hate beautiful trans people of color like me? What you gonna do now, woke brigade?